We have a problem with some of the vending machines on the side now. Let me say this before you start. Okay. I, I don't intend to talk about this one at all, and I'm going to abstain from the vote. So with that, I'm going to go to the bathroom and get talked about. Sidewalk I would think we would not want to kind of fringe on some business downtown as long as we can make this thing work. I didn't know there was an ordinance on the things in the first place. Was there, what, were they there before? Are they there now? They, they, they were behind the building and moved them out on the side. Yeah. So they have been relocated. Yeah. Ice machines have been there for I don't know how long. Yeah. Ice machines have been down. So I, yeah. They're out here? Yeah. Yeah. Before he has ice machine right on the corner and the pop machine from behind the building, he moved the ice machine down and they moved all the vending machines with it. That's why they made the sidewalks a foot wider. Yeah, you've got this still, it's still narrow over there. That's, yeah. that, that's not going to get widened out on it at all. Yeah. And you've got a, I'm not going to talk about either. Yeah. You've got, uh, you've got there, there's a little sidewalk this issue that the Hardware store with the, with the stuff there. You got the one in front of the laundromat. So I mean, that's three businesses that's been part of the business district, you know, for yeah. a long time. And I, I don't know. I, my concern was with uh, uh, with when you park a vehicle. In fact, I parked mine over there just to double check to see the width between the pop machines and the car when it's parked there. My concern was that, you know, with disability, people with, uh, um, that's a whole different ballgame. But I'm just saying about a wheelchair, somebody in a wheelchair having access, because we've got the ramps, you know, handicap access for getting on our step. So my concern was that uh, if that was too narrow to, uh, when cars were parked, if the wheelchair could get by it. I pulled in there and I looked at it different times and I, ended up, I measured about five feet roughly from from the machine to the to the bumper of the car. So I think that's wide enough for a, a handicap accessibility. My concern is that if uh, um, we vote against it, we're hurting our business. We vote for it. Then that opens up everything, everybody can put out a vending machine, and I'm, I don't think that's what we want either. So I'm, there's a gray area here that we need to discuss and try to determine what's important, and, and I don't say, say what is it important, but... Can we put it like a, like a zoning or a... We have to come up and get permission from each council to put something out so we can stop it? Well, that's, well, that's, that's really what the ordinance says right now. This, they but are allowed with written permission from the council. But no, I've never seen it ever come up to the council before. Or was this between the I don't even know that, didn't realize that we had this ordinance. But give it one, then the next person will want one, and so on, and pretty soon. Yeah. What was the third place you mentioned? We got the yeah. Parker Salt on one side there. Yeah. We got the bait shop right in front of the oh, laundromat there. I think that is that a bait thing? I guess I just see it was a vending machine. They got rid of it. Okay, okay. So there's a pop machine there. So again, I you know there again, like I said, we got three businesses that would affect us. And, uh, again, if we have permission to do it, you know, they got to ask council permission. That's one thing. But you know, we got to make sure that you know. We're not deterring business, and we're not. Uh, what, what's so the right what's the three foot limit thing that she, she references? I was confused about that. I'm sorry. That. If you look at the code on page eight, it's one thirty-six eighteen. That is where it is specifically stated that nothing it can exceed ten that. feet. I think there was an issue with the propane tanks that the Quick Mart had out. People were concerned about that before, which might. Have that's pretty bad. Yeah, and I, I talked to talk with, uh, with Jerry about this question today, and I know he has real concern about allowing anything out, out there, and he would uh, probably uh, defer just de defer to the to the ordinance the way it is, and, and everybody ought to move their stuff off of the sidewalks. But a vending machine does serve a purpose, but you don't need a car to go. I mean, sure. Well, I just drove uh, down Auburn. I was just with the council there. Maybe you must be next Monday. But uh, 
Vans has um, a piece of cement with their uh, Pepsi machine, um, you know, flesh, so it's not on the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. And they have a bear a lot apparently next door, so I'm not whether they own that bear a lot, but they did put a cement padding underneath. But personally, I always felt that those ice uh, machines impeded the flow of traffic. I mean, I never wanted to park there because. If you're carrying your bags, groceries, and everything, it, it was crowded. Why did he move them? Well, they redid that. They redid that. Thing. Yeah, yeah, and I talked to Chad about this. He, he says, you know, my vending machines were on the north side of the of the building prior to doing the streetscape project. I guess I didn't know that I recalled it that way. But I remember. I always remember the ice machine, but I don't yeah. remember the, the pop machines were always on the west side because I I got popular to open up. <laughs> but the other thing I, I'd talk with Jerry about is, so maybe there is such a thing as saying we really want to preserve the two blocks of Main Street streetscape and just have some reaffirmation that things aren't allowed on, on the Main Street area and uh, otherwise you defer back to the, to the ordinance. But could it be you have to have, I don't know, just black and white or treating everybody fair, you know, you have to have so many feet of sidewalk before you put something out there and you're limited. Yeah. That way the buildings are only 20 foot wide. You know, that way there's not one every 50 foot in every building. But yeah, I might go put aside our Pepsi and Coke. Yeah, that's my first If you keep it cheap enough, John will buy it. Yep. Knock <laughs> yourself <laughs> out. <laughs> and I, on the other hand, I'm thinking, that salt's probably not in the way. Yeah, uh, yeah there's nobody walking. There's no, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, I, mean walking. I hate to sit there and say we want to promote business, and then we turn around and tell them we can't put a damn machine out there has been there for. Did yeah. you think there was so, a I thought there was. A, you know, you walk right across the street, take a look at it yourself. Like I said, I parked there for a reason, just to, to uh, in my mind, see what was going on. So well, I think we should. You got a park right? machine up on yours? Yes, I do. What's the How much is that? Dollar fifty. Where's the bell? <laughs> Just checking for it. Give me the dollar in the corner for about a month. It's at the courthouse, basement. Wow. Uh, or the drive to there. I'm paying a dollar and 47 cents for a bottle of liquor there, so you <laughs> can't sell it about your quarter. You need to three cents. Right. Um, so it's a big product maker. I keep uh, going in. <laughs> the electrical rates are going to go up too. I think that's pretty more bought now. I do think we should, at a minimum, preserve the appearance of Main Street. Of the two blocks of Main Street. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think I agree that you know any other individuals wanting to put things out should have to come and like. You know, so a picture. Yeah. Two sides of the mouth, like we want you to promote your business, but we're going to take away your machines. Yeah. 